Slide down the energy conversion which takes place in a generator. We know that generators, they turn mechanical energy to electrical energy. While motors, on the other hand, they turn electrical energy to mechanical energy. That is 9.1. Let's go ahead and look at 9.2. Write down the type of generator represented by diagram X. If you look at diagram X, you're going to realize that we have split rings. And as soon as we see split rings, we know that we have a DC generator. 9.2.2, we have slip rings. And that is a component which we find on an AC generator or an AC motor. The presence of slip rings and in dc generator it is split rings there's a difference between the two uh, let's go ahead and look at 9.3 uh, we're supposed to state the difference between the two generators by referring to the components shown in the diagram of which they consist i mean this is question 9.2 really because how are you able to tell that diagram x is a dc generator and how are you able to tell that diagram y is an ac generator you are able to tell because in a dc generator in diagram x we have split rings and in diagram y the ac generator we have slip rings so if you get the answers to 9.2 then you should get 9.3 wrong because how did you arrive to your answer for 9.2 if you get in 9.3 wrong doesn't make any sense let's look at the question that follows 9.4 9.4.1 the generator in diagram Y produces a potential difference with a root mean square value of 220 volts. 9.4.1 defined in words the term RMS voltage. The AC potential difference which dissipates the same amount of energy as an equivalent DC potential difference. That is RMS voltage. 9.4.2 calculate the peak maximum potential difference of the generator so we're looking for v max but we know that vrms is equals to v max divided by square root of 2. we have vrms it is 220 volts so we're going to have v max being equals to 220 multiplied by square root of 2. What is 220 multiplied by square root of 2? That is 311.13 volts. The last question, 9.4.3. Sketch a graph of potential versus time to indicate one full rotation of the coil. Clearly indicate the values of the following on the diagram. The RMS value and the peak potential difference. We're interested in diagram Y. Diagram Y is the AC generator. So we're supposed to have a graph of potential difference versus time for an AC generator. It looks different from the potential difference versus time graph of a DC generator. In an AC generator, the current alternates. So we're going to have something like this. We're supposed to indicate Vmax and VRMS. Vmax will be somewhere here with a value of 311.13 and then we're going to have vrms somewhere here with 220 volts on the x-axis we have time in seconds and on the y-axis we have the potential difference in volts